So what do you take from that last drive, especially when you're looking back at it on film? You know, it, obviously we, we uh, like to have played better, no doubt. But at the same time, in our in our development, um, we got to learn from it. You know, it's, it's those moments. It's where we got such competitive, tough-minded kids that all want to make the play. They all want to do it. You know, they they, they all want to be that guy. And uh, you know, before we went on the field. I felt it in a good way. You know, it was like, we're going to go out there, we're going to stop them. Um, but what happened, guys, abandoned their responsibility a little bit, you know? And it wasn't because they were trying to be selfish or it just because they wanted to be the guy that made the play that stopped them. So uh, it was a great learning moment for our guys. You know, we talk about competitive greatness. Well, to me, being at your best when your best required is, is, is all about understanding the moment and just relying even more on my alignment, my assignment, my technique, you know, at even the most critical moments. So it's... Uh, Great learning moment for our guys. Is How do you think schematically you have to adjust to make up for some of that lack of execution, like stacking the box more or anything like that? Uh, we had the back of the box stack. I mean, you watch it. We, we had all the bodies that we needed. We just got to execute at a better level, you know? That's, that's what it comes down to. Um, but like I said, it's not from a lack of, of ability from our guys at all. It's not from a, uh, a, a selfish deal at all either. It's, it's just... Uh, you know, guys just lost their mind a little bit from that standpoint. You know, they just they, they wanted it so badly. Yeah, they really did. In those moments, how do you get the guys to just kind of check themselves and start laying on the scheme more? Well, I think you know, obviously, uh, reflecting on what happened and the outcome of that game is uh, is something that they can they can draw from and they can grow from, and hopefully, you know, they never make that mistake again. And at the same time, you know, uh, schematically, I could always uh, you know a little bit something different and mix it up for them. It's always on everybody's shoulders. What, what concerns you most about Mariota? Um, what doesn't worry about Mariota? Guy that, uh, um, I mean, he, he, he's a great quarterback. He's a great passer. Um, but as we know, his his probably str his true strength lies in his ability to extend plays. And and, uh, and they got skill position players that do a really nice job as far as getting open late in plays. And, um, He's just got a knack for finding the guys that get open. So it's, uh, you know, he's a great challenge. He's a, it, it's a perfect game for where we're at right now because obviously we're very um, disappointed with losing um, and, and what occurred in the game. So it's, you want a worthy opponent, and that's definitely what they are, you know, across the board. How much do you take away from him not really running so much? Not much, because you know he has the ability to do it. You know, you, gotta, you always got to, uh, prepare for, for what he's done in the past and what his, his strengths are. And, um, you know, so we have to be great at, 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 at containing this kid and keeping him in the pocket and, and uh, not, let, not letting him make plays, you know, with his feet. You know, we get to be the, we get to be the, the, um, the witness to a lot of quarterback scrambles and runs. And, and for us, it's been a great thing with having Brett Hunter here. But, you know, now we got to defend it. You know, the, the, the positive is that we get to face that on a daily basis. So hopefully that's prepared us. Is there an opportunity a little bit, given the injuries they've had on the offensive line, you know, they're playing some inexperienced guys, a walk-on. Is that kind of an opportunity for your pass rush to establish I so. itself? Yeah, I, I hope so. But the guys that are playing are doing a good job. You know, they're they're, they're getting better every week. You can see they're, they're creating some cohesion with them. But, uh, um, yeah, I'd like to think so. You know, we... Uh, it, it was it was unfortunate last week from a sack perspective. You know we we had you know what I count at least nine opportunities to get sacks. You know and we missed a few and I think we got three. But um, and we'll continue to, to to do that and and mix it up a little bit. Our guys like that, so we want to play to that. For sure. It seems like they're passing the ball a little bit more this year than they have in the past. Is there anything different schematically they're doing? Uh, the, to me, they've always been this, this team that wants to spread you out and run the ball, get you in space. Um, but they're really gonna they're gonna give you what or they're gonna they're, they're, yeah they're gonna give you what you what you give them. You know, if, if they're running the ball well early in games, they're they're gonna pound the pill, and that's what they've done in the past and historically. I think they ran for. Yeah, that made me sick when I looked at it. He ran for like 340 yards on us last year, you know, and you don't think of that when you think of spread, but but that's what they've built their offense around in the past. Uh, but at the same time, if you if you if you do well versus the run early, you know, they'll definitely, you know, they have the skill position players and a quarterback then that can definitely start slinging around and, and hurt your, your passing game. Where does Dion still need to improve the most, in your opinion? 
Um, you know, Dean gets better every week. You know, he he, uh, he obviously uh, he wished that he had played a little bit better in the Utah game, but he, he gets better every week, starting to learn the game at, at a higher level. And he, he's a guy that you know in this. Uh, in this conference, with all these spread teams and tempo teams, I just have to be better. I think we all have to be better as a def defensive staff as far as rolling guys a little bit more because the tempo can destroy your pass rush in a heartbeat. I mean, everybody sees that, like, versus Arizona State. Not just us, but, you know, not a lot of people have gotten home against them, and, and that's a lot because of tempo. They're not allowing you to sub, and their tempo's really wearing your pass rush out. So just um, with Dion, I think the fresher we can keep him, the more we can get out of him. Do you run a little bit of a risk with a guy like that who has such a great get off and, and you know is known for his pass rushing? But then, does he get a little bit too aggressive sometimes, especially when you have to contain the outside, maybe on a run? Or um, he, he, he's getting better with that, you know. But he definitely is a guy that uh, he's got an exceptional get off, an exceptional pass rush, and um, so we have to find that balance with him. You know, we don't want him to lose his edge. I mean, that's what makes him so unique and uncommon. So um, just find a balance in his game. Is that a balance you generally kind of need when you're trying to balance like the pass rushing and the containment? Don't want to over-pursue too much? Yeah, and, and situational awareness is a big part of it. You know, understanding when it's run, understanding when it's passed. You know, um, with a guy like Marcus Mario to understand that that uh, he's exceptional, especially when he rolls to his, his left. So whoever that left end is, got a great contained guy. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things about that.